it's my pleasure to introduce to you Char Margolis. She's back. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. It's I'm always good to have you here in the studio. Thank you. I am honored to be here. I'm happy to be here. Thank you. You've got an audience that uh, loves you. Thank you. So you came a little bit earlier, uh, and we did some, we went to D Young Dundas Square. So if you're from Toronto, that's sort of the central square. Everybody gathers around, and we thought we would bring Char out there to do some readings. And really what happened next was truly incredible. Thank so you. I want to show you all what happened. Take a look. Did you have somebody who's a Rose or family, a Rose or Ruth? Yes, I did. Was My your, mother. Your, your mother. Mm -hmm. Is she deceased? Wow. Is your mom deceased? Yes, she is. Your wow. mom, your mom's Ruth. spirit is with you. No. She wants you to know that she's at peace. She watches over you. This one. Wow. And then. You're the real deal. Well, thank you. Um, Sorry, I'm a little freaked out here. In the future, you'll have something that's better and wiser for you. Wow. But in the past, I know you've gotten the raw end of a deal. Yeah. Yeah, it's not <laughs> been easy for you. But your mom says things will turn, but you have to help make oh them turn. Oh, my God. And you need to own your power that you're a good person. I'm blown away. Thank you. My, mo my mom, my mom, my mom is... Uh, Wow, how did you do that? I talk to spirits, and more important, they talk back. But Thank you so things much. Things will turn. Can I have a hug? Thank you Thank so you. much. Aww. Thank you so much. I got to tell you, we were out there for a long time, and you spent a good amount of time with each person, and we had to cut that down to a small segment, you know, so that it was television ready, but. If you saw the transformation that happened in someone like Randy, we first came up to him and was sort of like, yeah, I'll talk to her, I'm on a lunch break, sure, I'm on my way to work. And then to see that revelation and that openness happen, and I saw it happen time and time again. Thank you, I really appreciate it. You know, uh, so many people maybe don't understand communication with the spirit world or understand intuition, and some people, you know, things can be overly produced. So. I love the fact that you guys trusted me enough to go out on the street where these people didn't even know they were gonna get the reading that day mm -hmm. and allow me to share what I've worked so many years to heal and help people with. Can you describe what an intuitive medium is? Well, first of all, intuitive means that we all have gut instincts. We're all, we all have intuition. And I, I teach classes on how to listen to that intuition to help prevent problems, attain goals, and also to scan people's energy. It's like, how do you know if you can trust someone or not? We can learn to scan their energy and find out. And then medium is communication with the spirit world. And I am the medium, I'm like the phone line. The spirits talk to me, I interpret it. And I, it's like interpreting another language and I do that to the best of my ability. So I do both things. Well, your ability is very good. Thank you. Okay, because I want to introduce you to another a pair of people that you met at Young Dundas Square, and this is really incredible. Uh, we're going to show you uh, Caitlin and her mom, Pat. Take a look at this. Hello. Hi. How you doing? Good, how are you? Good. good. What's your name? Pat. Pat. And I'm Caitlin. Hey, Caitlin. So nice to meet you. You too. Okay. Jeffrey or Jerry? Uh, or Jesse? Close, but or no. Jean, is it J, Jean or it's J E something? Is that your dad? No. Who is that? Your Tyler? grandpa? Uh, it's my boyfriend. It's your boyfriend. Okay. I know I'm supposed to talk to you. Oh wow. Mm. This was an unexpected death, correct? Yep. Very fresh. <laughs> you know that it wasn't your fault that he passed. Do you know that? Was yep. it like a motorcycle or a car accident or just an accident? Just an accident. an accident. Okay. He's saying you wear something of his around your neck. <sighs> his ashes. <laughs> you wear his ashes around your, let's see him. He knows you're wearing his, I didn't know what it was around your neck, but he's saying he, he knows you wear his ashes. Wow. And he's, <laughs> he's saying he loves you and he'll always love you. He's playing with the lights somewhere. <laughs> and he's saying that's his energy doing this. We believe that. He's doing the best he can to let you know he's there. Did you say, oh, I think it's him playing with the lights? We, yeah, we, we say, say that, that all the time. time. Yeah. 
the that's, cat the cat watches things in the room and there's yeah. nothing there yeah that's him that's him that's yes <laughs> yeah that's amazing and here they are in our audience it's caitlin and her mom Pat. incredible now I want to I want to talk to you for a second, uh, Caitlin. Were you when you walked into this and you were introduced to Shar, were you expecting for the conversation to go that way? Not not at all, <laughs> not at all. How what has this meant to you? Has it changed anything for you? Um, I, I mean definitely. Yep. We've I mean we've just noticed. Everyday life is a little bit easier. Was, um, it was a little bit of closure too, because we had no closure. It was so quick. So, so it was really you, good. We cried all through breakfast, but we f we felt great after that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's kind of what this is about. And I think when people hear that they're going to get a reading, they don't understand. Um, it's not necessarily about entertainment. It's actually about trying to make people's lives a bit better. You know. I, and, that's why it's so important when we're all alive to tell people we love them. You don't want to, in that you care about them and not to leave any stones unturned because you never know what's going to happen. And you don't want to have somebody like me have to be the one to say, I apologize, I'm sorry, or whatever. But in this case, you two are an, an amazing example because I, I, I appreciate that you let me connect with him. But, and I'm sometimes off with the name, but not the sounds, but it, finally he came through with the, the thing around your neck, the, the ashes. But what's interesting is that you are open to the spirit world. Imagine, imagine being in the spirit world, wanting to connect with someone you love, and nobody's listening, and nobody's hearing. Spirits will come in dreams. Spirits will work with electricity and make the lights go on and off. And really, my, all I'm doing is being, making, helping it communicate in a better way. But we all have the ability to connect with our loved ones because love is the bridge that connects us to the other side. Now, I know that you actually teach people how to tap into their own intuition. I do. How do you deal with skeptics? I mean, when people see <laughs> that and they see people do this turnaround and you're coming up with answers that are helping their lives, it's hard to be skeptical, but there will always be skeptics. So what do you well, say to them? Well, there's always you going to be skeptics in every different kind of belief system. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm only here for the people who, who are on the same page as I am, who understand it, who want to know more about it, mm -hmm. and who have had their own experiences or maybe want to have an experience like this. So I'm not here to try to convince people. I've been doing this for over 40 years, and um, I've been blessed and honored to be able to do this work. So the people who appreciate it, I'm, I'm grateful to be able to talk to them. And the skeptics, it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. people, but you know what I always say? I'd rather be friends with someone who's a skeptic, who doesn't believe in what I do, than someone who's a believer and not a nice person. <laughs> yeah, okay. I, I'd rather have a skeptic who's a nice person around yeah, me because yeah. positive energy attracts positive and negative attracts negative. So true. I like yeah. those words to live by. Thank so you, true. Char. So thank we're going to be doing this a lot. I'm excited about it. I'm so excited. And very I want to thank you because I know you were very sick that day and you went out on the street ah. with me anyway. So thank you. I'm grateful. It was worth it. It was a lot of fun. Thank All right, you. let's go to break. We've got more coming up. It was